In this test, I will show you how much energy consumption goes up when you have a bicycle on the roof. So I have this test route, which is 16 kilometers times two. And uh, I do this, uh, go back and forth again. So uh, I compensate for elevation and also wind. And the, the thing is that that route has some somewhat low uh, speed limits. So the average speed is probably around 60, 65 kilometers per hour. So uh, yeah, I mean, we, to test higher speed, we have to do it some other time. But anyway, I suspect the energy energy consumption at this uh, speed to be around 10% higher. So in the first test, I will have this bicycle on the roof, and in the second test, I will take everything off. Well, at least the, the bicycle, maybe also the rack. Yeah, it shouldn't affect it too much. So I have charged the car now for a while. And I also preheated the car, so um, the the consumption should be same. So yeah, because if you start with a cold car, then actually the first and the second test will be different because of that. But uh, yes, so uh, let's see then. We have finished the test and as you can see on the numbers, the lowest number is without the bike and the highest number is with the bike. And the difference is 12%. So that was actually what I expected also. Uh, the average speed on this test was uh, 60 km per hour. You can see from the footage that we had some uh, city plus some highway. So 60 km per hour, 40 miles per hour, it's not too high. I mean, uh, if you go on long trips, you'll probably cruise at higher speed than this. So you can probably expect like maybe 15 up to 20% more consumption, especially if you go on like uh, highway, motorway, where you cruise over 100, 120 kilometers per hour. So yes, this was with um, a regular bike. I have also mounted fat bike on top here and you can probably expect like twice that increase. So you see like 20 to 30% and maybe even 40% increase. Alright, that was an interesting test, so um, that's it for now then.